So for breakfast for me, especially on a race morning, is um, usually a couple of things. I usually like to have um, um, porridge or um, oats, really. And um, with that, I mix it up quite a bit. Sometimes maple syrup, sometimes honey, sometimes brown sugar. And then, um, you know, sometimes I throw some nuts on there, like um, pumpkin seeds or something like that. And then the second part of my breakfast is uh, scrambled eggs. And those are usually with salt and pepper, or I'm a big fan of having a bit of hot sauce on there. So some Tabasco hot sauce is, um, is um, magic. And uh, always followed by coffee, pretty much without fail. Um, especially racing in Europe and in America, we have coffee machines on both of our um, race rigs. So, yeah, if I can't get one at the condo, first thing I'll get when I uh, get to the truck in the morning. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm quite particular about my coffee, and I I do drink it differently where I am. Like, I hate that percolator, um, or filter coffee, I should say, from America. I'm very particular about that. So I like espresso um, coffee if I... You know, if I can't get it the way I like it, I'll just drink it in an espresso. Um, otherwise, in you know, like at home, I'll make myself a flat white. So, you know, double shot of coffee and some, you know, good whipped up milk, and uh, yeah, good to go. And I usually go with about four eggs, sometimes three if there's not too many. And um, yeah, usually go with half and half, so two full eggs and two um, egg whites and it's just um, someone told me once you get all your cholesterol from the um, egg yolk so um, that's why I sort of limit that they reckon two, two's a, two a day is pretty you know, fine for you so yeah that's uh, why I do half and half yeah definitely, I mean um, that's, you know, you've got to start with a good breakfast in the morning and if you don't eat um, properly, you know, you, you you you're starting off on the on the back foot, especially for racing, um, and that's kind of the foundation. I don't usually eat a lot before actual the races, like especially three hours out. I'll just have a light light meal. Um, so my breakfast in the morning is like almost like my main meal until after all the racing's finished. So definitely important, and try and get it all down if I can. Um, it just means that I think that my breakfast choices. Um, in the morning just means that when I show up, um, you know, for, for racing that I'm, you know, got all the energy that I need, especially the carbohydrates from the um, porridge and, you know, the protein from the eggs, and I'm pretty much ready to go and, you know, full alert, um, you know, running on good fuel, and, and I think that makes a big difference if, you know, you start your day without, um, you know, the right amount of energy, you can't really expect to be fully focused and sharp and that's what you need for, for mountain biking. If you're not those things you you know, you're gonna make mistakes and and um, you know, that can lead to crashes and all sorts of bad stuff. So yeah. Oh, so when we're living in Dunedin every uh, Saturday there's a farmers market which um my wife and I would always go to if we were in town and it's um got a guy, his name's Mike and he makes these pretty much um, world famous bacon buddies which are just really thin shaved bacon on white bread with a bit of um, relish and some mustard and um, without fail I'd have one of those every time I went down and when Mick came over actually um, we had a bit of a, what do we do, we had a bit of a competition and ended up eating um, four in a row and then we went riding and it was pretty horrendous for um, you know how, how you felt everything was over full and coming back up and yeah definitely an off season um, breakfast choice but yeah I miss him a little bit living in Christchurch now um, just don't really have that same sort of thing so sort of hanging out to go back um, to visit family in Dunedin and go back to the farmer's market get a bacon buddy so, yeah, there's a, a good little coffee stand which is next door to Mike's um, Bacon Buddy. So you put, place your order for the Bacon Buddy, you go across, you order your flat white, and then while with the flat white and your Bacon Buddy are getting um, made, you walk down to one of the local um, bakery stalls and they have these chocolate and almond um, croissants. And um, they're pretty massive, like they're 
they're huge in in that sort of when you get that you walk back to your coffee and you can have your coffee and you can have that croissant and then also mix it up with your bacon butter and then you sort of for the day nothing can really phase you when you've had that that three combination.